Well, hello everybody. I'm Jack, and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Man, I'm still in the long sleeve shirt here. It's about three or four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, we're getting our first little cool spell here in South Alabama, and uh, it's a little bit chilly in the house today, but I'm glad Mama's not running the heat. I'd prefer wearing clothes to having canned heat going all around. Um, yeah, I just needed to take a little bit of a break. Um, I've been on the computer too much today, uh, finishing up a blog post, um, doing some t-shirt design work, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and I thought it was about time to do a video. And today is going to be about raw vegan coaching. Your mileage may vary. I do videos every day. Um, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate if you'd uh, hit that subscribe button now. Then click on the little bell and check send notifications so you'll stay subscribed to the channel. Always important to check send notifications on any of your channels so you're sure to know when uh, videos are coming out. Um, <laughs> I was talking, I was uh, kind of chatting in Messenger with a friend a little while earlier today, and we were actually getting a little bit snarky. <laughs> uh, my friend is a health coach, although she doesn't really push it all that very much. But, and she's actually somebody I respect because she has um, had some great results on herself with Lyme disease, and she's helped a lot of other people. Um, she's not one of these fanatic sorts, and she kind of keeps things in perspective. What we were being snarky about and laughing about is here's somebody that's been doing this lifestyle a while has actually healed and reversed some pretty serious conditions. <laughs> and she had posted something, and somebody that's probably from doing a little backtracking has been raw for maybe a year that's, um, that was trying to recruit her into uh, you know buying some coaching sessions. You know, only $1,000 and I'll get you to the promised land of raw. Give me a effing break. <laughs> There's so many raw vegan coaches out there these days. That's why I say your mileage may vary. And that little dynamic right there is not that unique. I see it all the time. Look around. How many people out there have been doing raw for six months, a year, and all of a sudden they're a coach and they're all excited and they're going to coach people and take them to that promised land. Well, you can see how that's going to get my snark going a little bit. And hey, you know what? It's your money. So somebody will be like, you, 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 got the, you do. You have the right to spend your money uh, however you want to. But um, I think a lot of people are getting fleeced and wasting money out there. Um, you know, you can pretty much, from what I've seen, it's not that hard to get some sort of a little certificate certification so you can make some claim and have something behind your name. But to be honest, when it comes to raw food coaching, none of that, I mean, no little piece of paper, no certification would really impress me all that much. I want to see knowledge. I want to see experience. Now, I'm not saying there are probably not, there aren't some programs out there in which you can get certified to be a, you know, a raw vegan coach or a health coach or wellness coach that are not good courses. But what I'm saying is, is even if somebody has uh, graduated, gotten a certificate from a, you know, a respected course, paper has never really impressed me all that much. Whether it's a college degree, whether it's that MD on the wall, whether it's whatever. Um, I want to see knowledge. I want to see results. And I'm probably going to need to get, some, you're probably going to need to show me something um, rather quick. Um, you know, what it, I think maybe I should go undercover and have actually be a little bit more knowledgeable because obviously I've never had a coaching session. So, you know, I am sort of talking about something that I don't have personal experience with. But I can't even quite, you know, imagine, um, you know, okay, I could see if you're total new to this game to get a little bit of a leg up on things. But honestly, if you were, and I, I've, I've actually dabbled with this idea, but I would never use the word coach. That has a bad connotation with me. I guess since, you know, high, you see high school football coaches and whatever, nothing against them, but I'm just never been impressed with the word coach. Don't really like that. So I would never be called a coach. If anything, I would probably just have a service where I helped people with um, support and help mostly on the process, mostly on the psychological aspect of it. Not about sitting down and going, okay, now, Susie, today you're going to eat this and this and this and this, and if you drink your water and your lemon and blah, blah, blah. I mean, that, all that information is out there. Read 80-10-10, read Becoming Vegan, read Becoming Raw by Brenda Davis. Um, lots of good books, lots of good information that you can just click 
or you can pay a one-time fee and get a book for out there on the actual particulars, the science. And that's what I would actually recommend if you need, if you actually, if you're looking for coaching help on the actual particulars, you know, the nuts and bolts of this lifestyle, the science don't get it secondhand. Don't get it regurgitated um, through somebody that doesn't have near the experience as the person that wrote the book. Get the book. Get Dr. Greger's book. It may not be about raw, how not to die, but you read books like that, reversing and uh, prevent, preventing and reversing heart disease. And then you get into the raw stuff. You read Brenda Davis's stuff, Becoming Vegan. And then you get her second book, Becoming Raw. Um, you read 801010. You watch some of these videos and uh, Eh, you can figure out what you need to eat, the amounts you need to eat, this and that. If there's any help to be given, if there's any help to be given, I really think it's about the process. I think it's more of encouragement. I think it's more of kind of like giving people little tips and tricks along the way, little practical things they can use during their day. Or maybe it's even just having being that person that somebody can, if they're about to go off the rails or if something's not going right, they can just reach out to, just support. I like the word support a lot more than I like the word coaching. Um, and if I were to do this, and you know what, you can send me, a, my email's always um, in the description below. If anybody is possibly interested in this, you can send me a email. Um, because if there were people that were interested and I did decide to start doing this, I, I wouldn't like have some set, like I say, it's about the process. It's about the psychological aspect. I wouldn't have some very, um, you know, like a program because it would just kind of be day to day. You know, it would be what was happening with you, what you needed at that moment. But what I, I would put together kind of a thought process of how I was going to process people and how I was going to help them along the way. And if there was enough um, interest, then I'll give that some thought. But <laughs> if I did something like that, I can guarantee you this. Um, you would either get there, you would get there fairly quickly. You wouldn't waste a lot of money with me because if you haven't figured out from the old man that lived by himself on the mountain for a year and is not the biggest people person in the world, I wouldn't have a lot of patience for BS. I wouldn't have a lot of patience for weepiness, excuses, and all the angst and this and that. It's either kind of the Yoda thing, do or do not. I'll give you practical little tips. Okay, if, you, if, you're, if you're falling off the wagon in the mid-morning, in the afternoons, if you need little particular things, I'll give you a trick. I'll give you something that you can do it. But, you know, the whiny people that just kind of want somebody else to hold their hand and basically tell them exactly what to do, eat this, eat this, eat this, at 10 o'clock do this. No, I'm not your boy on that. Um, and also, too, let me say this, because there's people that are so thin-skinned out there, um, and especially somebody like me that just shoots from the hip. Uh, <laughs> I can step on toes. Now, once again, let me say, there, I'm not saying that there are not good health coaches out there, good raw ve people that are coaching in the raw vegan niche. Um, there's a lot of people I would, you know, I don't know that Tanny Raw has any certification. Maybe she does, maybe she doesn't, I don't know, but very knowledgeable on the subject. Same thing with uh, Melissa. Um, she's very knowledgeable on the subject. These are people that I've actually learned things from, people that I've asked questions of in the past. Um, if it was a real issue, if it was a health issue, like a healing or whatever issue, I've got somebody that's not a YouTuber that doesn't do any of this stuff that's actually worked with um, some people with some very serious health conditions, uh, stage four cancer patients, um, and, and conditions like that. That's who I would go to if I had, if the wheels ever come off and I have some major health issue. But no, there's a lot of good people out there. Uh, so I'm not trying to throw everybody under the bus, not trying to throw shade. I'm not trying to throw shade on anybody. I'm just always saying it's, uh, what, what's the Latin phrase for that? Uh, crap, I can't think of it. Let, let the buyer beware. Let the buyer beware. So just always be, you know, pay attention when you're going to spend your money. And also, this is about your health. So, you know, don't just because, just because you resonate with somebody, maybe they're cute or maybe they're perky or maybe they have some sort of something, something that catches your eye. Um, you know, the shiny outside, the exterior is not that important. Just make sure that they can actually give you what you, what you're looking for, give you what you need. Um, but, and definitely see if they've got some experience, see if they, see how long they've been eating like this, see how, um, see what kind of results they have, uh, because come on, come on, 
You know, what's some, I mean, quite honestly, this may seem arrogant, cocky, whatever, who cares? But what is some kid that's been doing this lifestyle for eight or nine months going to tell me? I mean, for real. What if, what, what is somebody that with that little experience got to give me? You know, maybe they do. Maybe they do. Maybe they've become enlightened in those eight or nine months. But once again, the message of the video is just uh, beware, beware and, and ask a lot of questions. You know, ask questions of these people before you decide to buy something, purchase, um, you know, hire someone. Ask them some probing questions. Man, when I hire anybody for anything, um, I'm probing. I've got, a, I've got a set of questions. I'm not just somebody that just like, you know, opens up my wallet and says, here, how much do you want? And then sees what they'll give me for it later. I want to know. You know, I want to know. I want to know what their methods are. I want to know what I'm going to get for this. I want to know what their, what their background is, what their knowledge is. So, um, you know, just think about it. Just think about it. But anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you again tomorrow. Peace.